everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Ancient Birdman A pair of extremely unique burials have recently been discovered in Russia. One of the burials reveals what researchers have called the Birdman Shaman. These burials belong to the Odinov culture of the Early Bronze Age, and they were found in the Novosibirsk region at the ancient site of Ust Tartus. Inside one of these graves, researchers were baffled to come across a collection of beaks and the skulls from birds, all of them assembled into something resembling either a headdress or some kind of piece of armor. Nothing like it has ever been found in western Siberia, and the experts were left scratching their heads. Researcher Lilia Kobeleva from the Novosibirsk Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography believes the artifact was part of an article of clothing. Specifically, it was part of a ritual costume worn by a local shaman who collected the beaks and skulls of around 50 birds to decorate himself with. The birds were likely cranes or herons, and the ritual costume probably made the shaman look like a monster. The so-called Birdman lived 5,000 years ago and walked around with what was basically a cape made from bird beaks. Close to his burial was a double-layered grave containing two young children, and underneath them was the skeleton of a grown man. The whole thing is extremely confusing, and we don't know how the shaman relates to the children, or the man, or what exactly his purpose had been in their society. Number 9. Namibian Shipwreck A shipwreck has been discovered in Namibia, and experts believe it could very well be the lost vessel known as the Bom Jesus. It was discovered in a place once known as the Forbidden Hidden territory. Deep in the Namibian desert, a German prospector found diamonds in 1908. The desert was soon totally overrun by Germans hunting for precious stones. They annexed the huge chunk of land for themselves, and they pillaged as many diamonds as they could before the World War. Back in 2008, Somebody searching for leftover diamonds accidentally came across a shipwreck that hadn't been seen in over 500 years. The miners discovered scraps of metal, chunks of wood, and old pipes. They didn't even realize what they were digging up. Then they started coming across ancient muskets and elephant tusks. And that was when they realized it was a shipwreck. After they called in archaeologists to help with their excavation, they quickly realized it might be one of the most important shipwrecks ever discovered. The ship, which was buried underneath the sand, could be the Portuguese vessel the Bom Jesus, or the Good Jesus. It was on its way to India when something happened in the southern Atlantic Ocean and it was destroyed. It had been filled with thousands of pure gold coins from Spain and Portugal, and all that treasure was lost. It's likely that the ship broke apart after hitting a massive sandbar, and then slowly drifted onto the beach and was covered in sand. So far, the miners have allegedly uncovered roughly 44,000 pounds of copper ingots, along with a treasure chest full of gold and bits of tin and ivory. Number 8. Terracotta Deities In Turkey, some extraordinary terracotta figurines have been discovered. These sculptures were found in such remarkable condition that they still have color on them, hints of blue and red from the pigments once used to decorate them. While the statues and carvings we typically see taken from archaeological sites are the boring color of sand, the truth is that most of them were actually quite colorful at the time of their creation. It's just that the pigment fades quickly, so thousands of years later, it's all gone. But here, in the ancient town of Mira, archaeologists have found over 50 terracotta figurines still painted. The team of researchers from Actinis University were excavating a Roman theater in the city, which was built about 2,000 years ago. They found the figurines buried underneath it. The figurines date to the days following Alexander the Great's death, between 323 BC and 31 BC. Perhaps most remarkable of all is that these statuettes, although they stand only a few inches tall, are almost like action figures. They depict everything from horses to warrior horsemen to ordinary Roman citizens and then mythical figures like Apollo and Hercules. We're not exactly sure what these figurines were used for. Maybe they were a kind of collectible fad for kids to have their favorite heroes. Or maybe they had more of a ritualistic value. All we know is that there are dozens of these things, little tiny effigies of all the most popular Greek and Roman gods. Number 7. 
Rusty Pirate Sword A rusty pirate sword has just been unearthed at a mysterious Christian monastery in northern Greece. It's a medieval saber, a sword with only one edge, and it had most likely been a deadly weapon wielded by a Turkish pirate. Either that, or the weapon had been wielded by the defenders of the monastery hundreds of years ago. Whatever the case, it's one of the strangest ancient weapons ever discovered. The main reason is that weapons made from iron very quickly deteriorate. Most swords and axes made as recently as the medieval times have already disintegrated into little more than crumbling rock. To find a sword in such great shape is absolutely remarkable. The weapon itself was actually quite popular, and if the iron didn't degrade so quickly, there would be hundreds of them found all over Europe. The single-edged saber was used by the Turks and the Byzantines during the 14th century. This was around the time that a brutal attack on the monastery where the sword was found was recorded in history. The monastery is dedicated to a local saint, Agios Nikolaos of Chrysokamaros. It's nothing but a ruin these days, about 40 miles south southeast from the city of Thessaloniki, but had once been a kind of embassy church. It was a powerful establishment built in the 11th century. The monastery lasted 300 years and then fell into disrepair and was abandoned. The sword is most likely a leftover from the Turkish pirates who raided the place. Number 6. The Narrabeen Man In 2005, contractors were digging in Narrabeen, a suburb of Sydney, Australia, for work on a bus shelter. They were clearing away dirt when they came across human remains. There was a literal skeleton staring them straight in the face, and so they called in forensic investigators. The workers didn't know what they were dealing with, if they had come upon a crime scene or what. And as it turned out, the skeleton was an ancient relic. Scientists dated the bones back 4,000 years. That makes the Narrabeen Man, as he's since been named, the oldest human being found in Sydney. He is also the third oldest skeletal remain found anywhere in Australia. We know very little about this individual. He was roughly 30 to 40 years old when he died. He was buried on his side with one arm over his head in what may have been a ceremonial burial. He also had something sharp shoved into one of his vertebrae and some other wounds. Researchers believe he was probably speared to death, making him the first physical evidence of ritual murder in Australia. Number 5. Viking Super Spreaders A team of scientists published a research paper back in 2020 about the origins of the variola virus, which you may know as smallpox. Now, the world was dealing with a different sickness then, and nobody paid too much attention to this vague study. But now, it's time to look at what the researchers discovered, because it's actually quite fascinating. The team had managed to extract, for the first time, smallpox DNA from ancient skeletons. They were able to track its origins to Europe in 600 AD. But even more shocking was that the researchers were able to prove that the Vikings were behind the spread of smallpox and were the original super spreaders over a thousand years ago. Basically, the Vikings were some of the first people to contract smallpox. They were also the ones who spread it across the globe. It's all thanks to them and their connections on the Silk Road. As you may know already, the Vikings traveled from Scandinavia to Canada, across the Mediterranean, down the rivers and into Russia and Ukraine, and pretty much everywhere except Asia. All this travel gave the Vikings access to complex trade networks. They were able to take things that they pillaged on their raids, stuff that they made themselves, and trade it along the Silk Road. It was really the beginning of globalization as we know it today, and it was a major help for spreading disease. Researchers found that smallpox really started to take off globally following the introduction of the Vikings to the trade network. It was because of them moving all over, going from one place to another, that smallpox was able to get around so easily and infect so many people. After the Vikings, globalization only became more powerful, and the spread of disease far easier. Number 4. The Giant Tortoise In Sicily, an international team of scientists discovered a burial site from the Bronze Age inside the Zubio di Cozza San Pietro cave. Within the burial site, the scientists found the bones of an ancient giant tortoise. The tortoise lived about 12,500 years ago, which is amazing for one main reason. This particular species of giant tortoise supposedly went extinct 195,000 years ago. Clearly, scientists had the date wrong by a huge margin. 
What this means is that giant tortoises lived in Europe for way longer than anyone had ever expected. The shocking discovery means that not only were giant tortoises living alongside modern humans, but people may have actually contributed to their collapse. Prehistoric humans may have hunted these animals to extinction. But what about the cave itself? It's a prehistoric burial ground where ancient human remains have been found. However, the dates of the human bones don't match up with the tortoise bones, so scientists are a bit confused why the remains are in the same place. As for how big the tortoise was, it was about three times larger than the Hermann's tortoise that still lives in Sicily today. Number 3. Lost Ancient Treasure In November of 2020, a man named Richard True was out waving his metal detector around near Landovery in Wales when he came across an ancient treasure hoard. He discovered a giant spearhead, three small fragments of spears, almost a dozen axes, and a couple of sheets of bronze. All this stuff came from the Bronze Age and was buried together sometime around 1000 BC. That's about 3000 years ago. When asked about the discovery, Richard said it felt as though he had been taken back in time. He just kept finding more and more objects, adding to the amazing collection. After Richard accumulated all the treasure he could, he got a hold of professional archaeologists with the National Museum in Wales, and they carried out an investigation of the area. They now believe all these bronze scraps had been placed inside a secret pit far away from any settlement, but it's still a mystery as to why. There are two main possibilities. Either somebody had stashed this bronze in a hole, expecting to come back for it later, or it was part of a ceremony. Judging by the way the main spearhead was placed on the top of the hoard, the burial could have been part of a ritual. The spears and other treasures may have been part of a sacrifice to the Bronze Age community's ancient gods. Number 2. Convict Artifacts In Sydney, Australia, there is a neighborhood called The Rocks. It's the oldest neighborhood in the entire city, and so it's no surprise that it's rich with history. Archaeologists discovered remains in the neighborhood from the convict era. That's the time when Australia wasn't a country, but a British penal colony. The incredible artifacts from Australia's first shackled prisoners were found underneath a modern hostel. This is a posh new youth hostel where wealthy travelers stay while backpacking around the country. They are a far different sort of people than those who first lived in the rocks. The hostel itself is built on stilts, and beneath the floorboards is evidence of Australia's first years. Excavations back in 1994 uncovered two full blocks from the 1700s. Archaeologists identified the remnants of 48 houses and shops that had all been occupied by either convicts or ex-convicts. That was almost 30 years ago, and now the area underneath the hostel is considered a historical treasure. Archaeologists didn't actually find chains and ankle restraints, nor the tattered rags of prison uniforms. What they found were the foundations of modern Australia laid down between 1788 and 1868 by prisoners. In those 80 years, over 170,000 men and women were shipped by Britain to Australia, both to get rid of unwanted criminals and also to force them into starting a self-sufficient colony on the other side of the world. As brutal as it was, the end goal was a success. Number 1. Caesar's Assassination Gold The Eidmar coin is one of the rarest and most valuable ancient coins in the entire world. The coin was minted by a man named Marcus Junius Brutus. If the name sounds familiar, that's because Marcus Brutus was the one who betrayed Julius Caesar and was directly responsible for his death in the year 44 BC. The coin was minted by Marcus himself to commemorate the devastating assassination of the Roman Empire's first dictator and the lover of Cleopatra. For those unfamiliar with the story, Marcus Brutus led the group of Roman senators to Caesar on March 15 known today as the Ides of March, and had him brutally murdered. Then he minted a coin with the words Eid Mar stamped on it. The coin was so important that it remained in someone or other's possession throughout the centuries, until it eventually wound up on display at the British Museum in London. It was there on loan from a private collector, someone we don't know. And just recently, the coin was sent to Zurich in Germany to be put up for auction, where it was expected to fetch a whopping $2 million. Thanks for watching! What would you do if you found a lost ancient treasure? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon! Bye!